The Orioles from a couple of days ago, they acquired from the Phillies um, Jeremy Hellickson, and they traded uh, Mr. Kim, the outfielder there. Um, you might say to yourself, why trade for a guy who's a free agent next year? The season is toast, you might be saying, to all you guys that love Mr. Uh, Dan Duquette there. Horrendous dealings from Mr. Duquette. But let me put everything here in uh, perspective for you guys in getting Hellickson. You guys traded Kim, uh, who is a free agent after this season. Chances are they weren't going to resign him anyway. At least you get a picture. You're getting a picture who might who might give you a couple wins this year in exchange for a part-time outfielder who is on his way out anyway. I'd be saying Hellickson should fit right in with his almost 5 ERA, right? But what do you expect? Do you, did you expect to get a 20-game winner with a 150 ERA for Kim? You might be saying that Hellickson is no improvement. But the Orioles need starting pitchers more than need, more than they need a part-time outfielder. I'm not saying that this is a kind of a, a save the season type of trade, but you never know what Hellickson might do, especially with a change of scenery. Um, and you guys have more of a chance signing Hellickson than I think you would Kim. Um, so I'm not insinuating that Hellickson is going to be a uh, Cy Young uh, winner. Uh, but he might get you, steal you um, a few wins. Listen, would you rather have Hellickson or Baldo and Wade? Hellickson, I think, when he goes, when he goes out there, he's going to give you a chance to win every time out. His ERA might be high, but who isn't when you play for Philly, the... Uh, one of the, if not the worst teams in baseball. You guys might be just down on Duquette, but you have to look at, you know, every trade piece by piece here. Piece by piece. I hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon.